that over the past years they have been changing the legislative list to the detriment of the state. For instance, in 1994, they put tourism, which is a residual power of the state. We form our tourism ministry long before they have one. And they put tourism in the federal lease. So only federal can deal with, for, for, with tourism. They put the tourism tax and all that. Huh? Environment, they passed the EQA, even though environment in 74 was still a residual lease, residual power of the state. So we got to fix this. We could have put in the constitution a provision that parliament cannot disturb the legislative list without the concurrence of the state legislature to be expressed by a resolution passed by the Dun. Otherwise, you wake up one day, parliament will <laughs> take away a lot of your legislative power just like that. You know? It has been happening, isn't it? It has been happening. That's why we try to fix it. You see, but people don't understand. You ask all oh, these politicians, especially, I don't want to mention whom. They just say, you must support the bill. But even if you pass the bill, tomorrow they will take away your legislative power. If they want to. Last time they cannot. Why they cannot? When Malaysia was formed, it was a Greek, a Malayan, Malayan only had two-thirds of the MPs. Sabah, Sarawak, Singapore, one-third. So the Malayan cannot amend the constitution without us. But suddenly, our one-third, a chunk of it taken over by them when Singapore left. So they can amend any time. So you've got to build in there to protect yourself in the constitution to say they don't disturb the legislative list. After all, it's a power of doom. If you want to take away the power of doom, don't you think it is fair that doom must agree?